welcome back to my youtube channel workers craft and peace and you for all thank you for staying if you're new you're welcome i make paper beads and i make paper jewelry as well and today's video yeah you can see a lot of long papers here um i've, I've been requested two times to make um, the long bead earrings the one i have the title is how to make paper beads with memory wire how to make earrings <laughs> yeah i think yeah 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 okay so um okay so these are the earrings i'm only left with three pairs the rest were bought so yeah these are the only ones left so far so i can't show more but in that video i'll put the link below so after you're done rolling with me this section then you can as well go make your own earrings okay so this was the long this kind was the longest and because i think because of the extra beads and uh, yeah and this one shorter because i guess also the beads because this one has like six beads and this one has three yeah three at the bottom so yeah but these were the longest so we're going to do these ones today and uh I won't lie they're really hard to roll from the base but after the base is done then they are easier it's easy now to go upwards and uh, yeah you see the challenges as we go ahead so the I will do the measurements so you can find out how long this earring is um, I'll say it's like 10 centimeters long and um, when we just measure only the paper bead it is six centimeters so i made these ones the purple one looks really cute a good way to punish them so the purple one is six centimeters as well so you can see the difference with the ready done earring and just the paper bead it doesn't look longer but it, it looks longer after you design it so i have made quite a lot today and yeah so let's get into it i'll put this aside so what you need is magazines because um to obtain a color like this of course this i don't know maybe other papers offer it but uh to me it's magazines because then they are different pages with different colors so but also because there are so many difficulties with this long paper because between our thumbs is shorter than the normal okay you find out i'm sorry to say that earlier so you will need a magazine but also the magazine has to be um, if you have let's say put this aside if you have uh, let's say this magazine this magazine is of a different uh, thickness than this magazine but it's closer to this one so let's say you can if i do that you can hear that and if i do with this one there is that uh, you hear the the sound is, is is not the same this one is more like it has a smooth edge and this one is a bit harder so with these ones at least the base is not gonna break so you will need a little bit harder magazines and these ones as well work but it's you see why i'm saying you should use these magazines the hard ones so what you do is uh, you get your paper out and then um, you have to mark it so with these ones we'll mark six centimeters each base so basically you can achieve maybe six no maybe yeah two two to three pairs of earrings from this one excuse me um so here we go we put the six here and 12 and then i guess 18 is next let's see yeah okay so when you're done with that then as well always remember to start from the clean edge of the magazine to the 
spoiled part so you can just cut it off and you it won't hurt <laughs> that you lost the paper so yeah and then when you get there like usual you have to join them uh, and this one the outcome is um, is uh, those I don't know how they call that triangle in school we used to do in maths it's um, a triangle that has a flat I hope you can see what I'm meaning like that it's a uh, yeah the, the one side is is flat and the other side is a triangle I don't know if it's the hypotenuse I don't know I don't know I can't tell I don't remember it's been long okay then you join them when you're done joining them like that that and uh, all the way <laughs> sorry I didn't finish because uh, I'm clumsy with cutting paper straight so that means I cut already paper for myself from the paper cutter it's uh, it's easier for me because I can't cut straight paper and with this earrings since they are so complicated they always need a perfect edge and I, I don't think I can do that so I have the same so I'll just show you how you will do it if you have a cutter and you're gifted with the straight hands uh, straight you can cut straight lines oh, started ruining. <laughs> okay focus okay 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 so I did go into the other line as well but uh, that's the logic you see the top is not flat um, I really try I'm trying <laughs> to to get uh, a lot of straight line when I cut with the blade because my paper cutter is big to show you in the video but one time I'll do that and um, so you do the same and the rest then you will get a bunch of them so when you do that and you have a bunch I'll put this aside and I'll work on it's the same but it's all the same you can see it's the same so I'll put this aside and I'll put the mat as well aside and I'll work with these ones So what you will need is your roller and your glue next to you and uh, of course we want this unique color it's a bit uh, cream yeah it's cream and some black color so then you don't use this other side but if you need words and this then you can use that so so this is what you do you try to bend all of them since your thumbs won't reach and uh, okay so this is what I was trying to explain what you should use this is what I meant that uh, you need you need hard paper you see it's already torn so then you keep on rolling keep trying this doesn't affect the bead when it's done so don't worry just keep rolling okay so when you do something like that then you can go back downwards and then remember your entire hands are working even these ones can also push backwards so yeah that's the struggle of this bead and there we go so when you set off oh, everything becomes easy so then but then you see the weirdness of here's high and here's low so then you push it and then you need to go back this side always keep balancing it up then it will come out to be a perfect bead if it's not tight you can always open it up and then
keep on rolling. Then you put on your glue as well at the tip. So then there you have the long, the six centimeter bead. We'll try one more. Um, I hope this one goes straight. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's just hard that your thumbs, between your thumbs is not that wide. Or we have, I have, maybe because I have small fingers, or maybe that. Yeah, but if you can just roll it at once, then like for you. Um, Okay, this one came in faster. And then you just keep pushing. So like you saw at the start at the base, it can get torn, but that doesn't affect the bead hole that you put a string or anything in it. It is still intact and uh, yeah, it is safe. After you varnish it, uh, I won't be varnishing in this video, but I have a video just specifically for varnishing. And for these ones, I use the brushing method and it's so easy that then they become more harder you can see this is just the paper bit so it's safe it's a safe earring so you just need the brushing method and then you can already do that and then you can have them you can then design so that's how they make these paper beads but they're really hard and you can feel your thumbs hot because they are way way longer than your thumb space I hope you found this video interesting and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and you can always suggest a video that I made or something that you want me to make that I that you didn't get like good and then I can always do a, a simple video about it okay don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>